you have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. Ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about the other guys. There's an honor code among birders. I've been competing since I was 12, and I've never seen it broken. 12? Wow. So... This win is a big deal for you. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. I better do some cleanup before my shift is over. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm birder of the year and your reign is finished. Uh-oh, better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid.
Jed's such a liar. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Sorry, Jed. The people have spoken. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Looks like Ducky's getting started earlier than usual today. Your tab is in the six figures, Ducky. Chump change. Let's make it 12. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. So, I started Dustin Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm so glad you like it. I really do. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Poor Amelia. Jed acts like he's in charge but we all know who really calls the shots in here. The spring festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Rad jacket. I'm guessing boss man must be Jed. The hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says hell divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it. Like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. Maybe I can give her a pep talk using my extensive knowledge of running. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, 
definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. Mmm. Appetizing. Welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But... We're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, alright? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. Okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane? I think Brian is a good choice. This, Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. 
William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. A month later, and I can still feel the void he left behind. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me.
we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. <laughs> so, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. <gasps> oh, man. I know I'm cracking up, but that was legit terrifying. I hope it was worth the risk. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a lark to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? H how can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um... It's a unique expression of gratitude. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. We're one step closer now. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip.
A dire rat joined your party. Steph was right. These chicks rock. Of course I'm investing all my tips into expanding my record collection. Every time I listen to this record, it takes me right back to that moment with Gabe. Maybe I should put something on. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Ugh, you need a lot of help, don't you? Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. than nothing. Ugh, not much better. Still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way to find out. Huh. 
There it is. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Yeah, I don't need to know what that was for. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. I think I know where you go. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. To work. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? This feather separates the buskers from the bards. Okay, just need to grab my guitar now. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. Cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird. Having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah. Especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So... 
don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope, an ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. Gotta say, Jed's king voice is pretty convincing. Please, find the three jewels. Time is of the essence. Right. We're on it. Is this what a real quest feels like? The jewels could be anywhere. Is that a scroll of paper? What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. Wow, hard to see that in the grass. What did you just find? A gold coin. Do you think there's more of them? I don't know. Let's keep looking. Okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Huh. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Ah! Two damage. <clears throat> Four damage. <clears throat> Loot. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. 
attack. <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all this. Can't hide with a ribbon that bright. Found a scroll? Yeah. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's cute, right? Peach ice cream cake? I don't know. I want something people can't stop talking about. I want every kid ordering one for their birthday. <sighs> then let's keep trying. Oh, I bet we can use that. Got another scroll. Cool. Well, now, who do we have here? Thane or the Monster Slayer. And my bard. And what you up to, Thane or? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. How about a dragon with a candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins, sugar pearls, gummy jewels? Yes, I love that. Mint chocolate chip for the dragon topped with fire cinnamon candies. I'd say you're on fire yourself. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? You'd have to be athletic to do that. <laughs> Whoa, go easy on me. Maybe you can teach me the finer points of craft beer. Oh my god, I came out here to have a good time, you little bully. Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now, sorry. Knock him dead? Ethan's back to his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's got a lot of people who care about him. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. I know this guy. He's one of Steph's co-workers. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues.
that's gonna get soggy if I leave it there. We're like master scroll seekers. Yup. I would gladly work at a place called Gullweather's Tavern. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Whoa, what's that about? I just haven't slept. You know, every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts, these regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. All that guilt. And she still can't find her way toward doing the right thing. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. It's so sweet of Ducky to participate in this. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Yes? I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had it coming. Stingy dish wench. Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Okay, I think I checked all the compartments. I dare say, Alex is my favorite employee. Ducky's affection, so easily bought. I actually feel bad for that person. If there was a monster and you only had your guitar, would you smash their head with it? Be honest. Of course I would. Are you sure? 
Yes? I'll believe it when I see it. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. So gorgeous. Where does Steph get all this stuff? Thanor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! It's one of the jewels! One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. <laughs> That's not what I meant. House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. Oh, hey, a coin. I want to focus on Ethan right now. What happened to the rest of the music? This kingdom has serious problems. Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above uh, ground. Uh, first point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess though, how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. That better be washable. Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Eh. Bards need diversions too. Guess Lawrence is gonna need a new business advisor. Steph really went all out in here. I wonder if Alexandra the Bard would have cracked the Tavern Top 20. We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Did you see this warning? Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. You see? I warned you not to go. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead. Fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are...
The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Four coins. Got it. Ah, uh, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. Guess that's for us. Thanks. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. It was full of people. Alive people. Obviously. Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Go get him, <laughs> Thanor. Could there be something down the alley? You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? We're the good guys. Right, of course. What? I'll be taking that. I saw that, like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours. It's boring. Why is my dead lover talking? We're lovers? Y yeah, that's what Steph said. Oh. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... yonder... alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Wow. That actually felt really Could sad. there be something down the alley? I would definitely miss you, if you were eaten. Beware of river monster. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? I feel bad for it. It's just living its life. Being a snake. It eats people. It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snakes ears are internal, so they can't hear. Nice. More loot. All right, let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. That was so smart of you to use the bell. Shit. That 
that didn't take long. Can't wait to transfix some monsters with my sweet hypnotic jams. Can't hide from me, scroll. Did you see this scroll first? Uh, no. All right. He's brave and he's honest. Okay. We handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. Ah. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. Here you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Bah! What a thankless life, being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa, he's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um... Grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of Sun Silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. That actually looks legit. Golems, animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. Spells. Very cute stuff. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Wonder if they have drills for this. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars. But I'm glad Thanor has better taste. I bet we're supposed to buy something here. Warning, cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. What do I want insight about? Hmm. Really? Is that true for Ryan? 
I hope so. I mean, I hope that's true. Chaos and destruction. Yeah. No shit. Holy shit. Too real. Yikes. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What, with all the human flesh I assume she consumes? Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know, she doesn't have a collar. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. Oh, hey, Sunsilver. We should tell that blacksmith. That's not ominous at all. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Never seen Steph all twisted up like this before. Surely she knows she's hot, too. She's always so confident. Holy shit. Steph looks fantastic. The streets used to be full of people. <laughs> These all look pretty useful. I do curate my wares. Can we actually buy things here? So, are these prices typical? You're wondering if you can get these items cheaper elsewhere. Well, yeah. You cannot. Oh. Troll dust. Interesting. Who are you? You have the air of someone known. I'm Thanor, the Monster Slayer. We are very familiar with your name here. Did you once defeat Gorim Gankbreath, the Ogre Sorcerer? Yeah, I did. I thought so. He was a disgraced colleague. For real? It was really hard to beat him. He kept turning invisible. So what did you do? I quickly threw mud on his feet so that he left footprints. Very clever. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. So I can heal already with my music. Yeah. But the scroll heals us completely, and it cures poison and stuff like that. So the scroll of advantage basically skips the enemy turn. My hypnotic fugue kind of does the same thing. Yeah, but the fugue uses up your turn, so you can't attack. The scroll is stronger. We've already got some of these, right? Yeah. So there's definitely a troll at the Eastern Bridge. Do you think we can beat a troll? Probably. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. I'm sure this isn't the first time someone's asked you given your obvious hotness. Uh, 
I mean... <laughs> oh, man. This just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the Sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. Only one more jewel left. Getting there. Three gold, please. I do. I do, I do, I do. Maybe when Ethan's not around. Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. I'm still thinking about that tapestry. The blacksmith making the sword? Yeah. Hey, we found the components of sun silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. We've definitely earned that. Stocking up on scrolls. Listen here. Since you two already defeated the serpent, maybe you can handle the troll around the bridge. I've killed plenty of trolls in my day. Let's go. Life without the monsters. Life without the monsters. Seems like so long ago. When the streets rang with the sound of bells and children's laughter. When the taverns boomed with stories and song. Those were the days. I wonder if I'll live to see those good days return. Until then, I'll keep the fire hot and my hammer true. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to talk to Riley about a real life thing. I promise I'll be quick. Sure. Take your time.
Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Man, small towns. Everyone's been going out of their way to congratulate Riley these past couple of weeks. Must be hard to find new employees in a small town. I hope it works out. Nice. There's a whole tech side to Riley I never knew about. Gabe did, though. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you wanna check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. <laughs> She probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. We're going through another rough spot. I'm leaving soon, and he's not taking it too well. Sorry. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. For spring festival. These are freaking gorgeous. This is just so nice. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. I... We'll definitely not touch this. I really hope this works. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Got a soul jewel right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? <clears throat> troll dust. Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare. <laughs> Visitors. I love visitors. Can I can I get you anything? Uh, a glass of marsh water. Slug chips. How about that jewel? On your belt. 
sure. <laughs> Anything else? We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> that was quick. Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. You put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. And you see deep into the hearts of people. But you don't let that stop you from believing in them. This troll is emo. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again. Anytime. <laughs> We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. Okay. That troll is scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. Even after you used the dust, he was still scary. Would you rather be scary or good looking? Good looking, I guess. Yeah, me too. It's such a human weakness. We've still got coins. Should we spend them before we go back to the king? Good idea. Maybe we'll swing by the Emporium. Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> Feynor, the monster slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Netheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? Skysword. It's the Skysword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics! It's got the pincer, and the same grip, and it's got this part for the jewels! How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay.
bard. A song, if you please. The prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanor's might is unsurpassed. Take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! Scroll of nimbleness. Stirring him! Fire blast! Oh. Ah! Sorry. Worth it. Healing serenade. Scroll of healing. Hypnotic fugue. Burning blade. Transfixed by the gorgeous music. Ugh. Curse this fire! Stirring him! Strike of wrath! Oh. Unholy lightning storm! Death to all who defy me! Oh. Curse this fire! Scroll of advantage. Healing Serenade. Burning Blade. Oh. Shield of Courage. Ah. Uh. Curse this fire. Scroll of Healing. Stirring him! Burning blade! Oh. Ugh, a ravenous ah. flame! <laughs> You're now on fire! Ugh. Curse this fire! Listen to me. It 
wasn't your fault. At all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Charlotte? Back here. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Mm. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I can imagine getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte. I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. This hurts to even look at. How much did it hurt to make? Beautiful. So why does it kind of make my skin crawl? Wonder what's inside. There's almost an innocence about this one. I wonder what it's saying. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. 
why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you. But I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. What is wrong with me? I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Your fault. Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan. Or you. Or even Gabe. But Ethan... If he had just listened... Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her, and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I wish I could do something. That makes two of us. Okay, okay. Hear me out. 
Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom. Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but I couldn't. If you couldn't help her, I'm sure no one could. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but Alex. We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac, it's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit, he could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> That's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Everything is so not fine. A key part of any good investigation. Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. We're gonna get there. Don't worry. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sore. <laughs> From the LARP? Yeah. I played three monsters. You made me run all over town. Such a trooper. Okay, hear me out before you shoot me down, all right? No promises. I'm Fred, obviously. Alex is Daphne. And Steph is... Shaggy. Oh, fuck you. I'm obviously Daphne. Oh, you're obviously Daphne? You wear glasses. You're Velma. Fair. And me? You're Scooby. Star of the show, right here. This time, I don't think Gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff. Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? Ryan brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. A cold case and a warm beer. Thanks for spilling your guts. She's had quite a day. Don't know what I'd do without her. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. So, how fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, we could just have Ryan seduce the truth out of Diane. You know, that might actually work. <laughs> After what I saw this afternoon, I'm not putting anything past you. We're going to get them for you, Gabe. Hard to believe we met less than a month ago. Feels like I've known him for years. 
We're gonna get them, okay? Yeah, I know we will. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh... Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you... Do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. You still there? Yeah. No, um... No, that's okay, just the potatoes. Okay. I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac! Hey! What's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not gonna believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley! Oh, Mac. Hi, Belts Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, you, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Lena? It's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? 
Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and all this, but... damn. h &B Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh... It's Jason. Hello, Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane? Can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just... well... We've all been following the news, and I don't know, after that accident... Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. 
Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. This is about Rhea, but it doesn't tell me where it was. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. This is Rhea! Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait, they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. <laughs> 